everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have my September favourites for you. And I'm going to start off with hair. I've really, really been enjoying my Bumble and Bumble Sunday shampoo. This is just basically a clarifying shampoo. Um, and it just kind of gets rid of all the impurities, any excess oil, anything from like, you know, if you're using kind of a lot of hair products like hairsprays and, um, you know, damage repair sprays and detangling sprays and all these things that can kind of block and clog up your hair this really clarifies it now i did really love the neutrogena one that you can get in drugstores and that is still good um it definitely works but this one works just that extra bit better and it makes it well worth it i don't feel like i have to use this as much and I feel like with one wash, this um, really, really gets rid of everything. Whereas with the Neutrogena, I had to really use it as a shampoo and use it twice and then put my conditioner on. So I really, really love this. This is expensive, but um, I've had this for several, several months now. And um, so I think it's well worth it and using it once a week. You know, you don't have to use it. You don't even, even need to use it once a week if you don't want to. You can do it once every two weeks, depending on how much product you use. But um, it was well worth it and I did recently discover that in boots a lot of boots are carrying bumble and bumble now which is very exciting and obviously John Lewis carries um, bumble and bumble but if you're here in um, the States you know you know where to find bumble and bumble Sephora and whatnot um, then um, I'll go on to skincare I've been absolutely loving the forever youth liberator by YSL eye cream um, this is the full size so it's a huge tub huge huge tub and you need and I mean it you really need like I don't want to use it but you need about that much I don't know if you can even tell and it's got these sort of like shimmering um, like iridescence to it and I know you won't be able to see that on camera but it, I kind of it kind of has like this like light reflect reflective sort of look um, which kind of brightens your eye area but it's just so smooth you could drag this product all the way like halfway down your forearm it's amazing so if you are like me and you sometimes forget to tap around your eye and you kind of smear it like this it's okay because it just your finger glides on top of it and you're not even pulling or tugging on your skin so literally I start from the insides and then pat all the way outside and I bring it up here and up on my eyebrow area eyebrow bone area too and a little bit beyond and it's just fantastic and the reason why it's fantastic is because I feel like it's um, more lotiony than I'm normally used to. I like a good cream for my eye under eye area, so it's really light. It's lotiony but really moisturizing, and I feel like it's just really sort of it's starting to correct underneath my eye area in terms of the darkness, in terms of the complexion, and um, it's also just a preventative um, sort of eye cream, so it will help with aging too. And then for the makeup bits. Um, I'll start with the lipstick I'm wearing today, which I absolutely love. This is by Kate, and it's the Rimmel London Kate Moss, and this is 107. And it just says, Lasting Finish by Kate Lipstick. So 107. And it's a really ambiguous colour because it sometimes looks burgundy, sometimes it looks cherry wine, sometimes it can look like almost like a, a black tulip, if that makes sense, because it's so red, it looks so dark. Um, but I love it. It depends that's like with a swipe this is like dotting it on to make it really sheer so you can really play it up this is like really really dark and you can see the sort of tones it gives like it's gone into such a gradient depending on how much you apply onto your lips and I really feel like it stays on my lips and kind of stains it really nicely but isn't that fantastic like you can just have it any way you want like sometimes I'll just dab a little bit on and it will just stain my lips and it will just look really plump and juicy and sometimes it will look like this which is a little bit more done I just really love it and then you can really vamp it up if you want um, then this sleek palette this is part of the Shangri-La collection in respect and that's 892 and I absolutely love this palette I haven't had it for the entire month of September but it was just so good I've been using it every day that I have to include it in my favorites because this is really what stood out it has beautiful beautiful colors the ones I'm really really excited about are, um, and it did have like the clear film which had all the names on so I'm sorry I lost that but I really love this color and I really love this burgundy color 
and I really love this colour here too. Um, they're just so, so pretty and I have them on my eyes today. I actually did film a tutorial on this so let me know if you would like to see it. Um, but it's just kind of like an everyday look but a little bit more a little bit more defined I would say than I usually go for but I really I really enjoy it and I think it's like a really nice fall palette and then I have the Makeup Forever Professional Aqua Shadow in 30E this is a waterproof eyeshadow pencil I love this it's like a um, really beautiful pinky gold and look how reflective it is and you just have to literally apply this in the insides of your eyes and it just brightens up that whole area it looks so pretty um, let's see, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like changed it, my eyes a little bit, and it just looks so gorgeous, like, it, it highlights, but it doesn't look obvious, and it's just like an amazing, amazing base for a very nudish look, it's so creamy, and, um, I just love it, I really, really love it, it's so pretty, look at that, it's a really, really good base. And it's perfect for those like rose gold um, liquid eyeshadows that we have, the metallic, metallic ones from Laura Mercier. And then finally, I have a sample size of the YSL Shocking Mascara. Um, when I first tried this, it was okay. I still preferred my YSL Faux Seals. Um, and then I started using um, another mascara. Oh, the Revlon one, which like the Grow Luscious that did not work at all for me so I gave it to my sister because she really wants to grow her lashes even though she has long long lashes and then um, then I went to the Lancome Stars one and I was so disappointed with that because I love Hypnostrama and I just thought oh it's gonna be the same or like it's gonna work so well for me because the Hypnostrama works so well I should have realized that because the Hypnos doesn't work very well for me but the Hypnostrama is fantastic anyway I like the packaging of the star one I'll do a review on it anyway anyway I wasn't so happy with that and so when I came back home I started using this again and I love it it just makes my eyelashes really fanned out it makes them long and they are long but it really emphasizes their length and which I really like with the other mascaras they weren't really emphasizing the length they were just kind of curling it and volumizing it but I want that length to show and um, yeah I just I really really love this mascara doesn't mean to say there aren't cheaper alternatives there are but because I have this I'm using it and I really loved it I loved using it in September so those are my monthly favorites I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video take care bye